Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 8 of Senio Girls. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> that was yesterday in a nutshell for Florida. Too hot. Oh, okay. You don't have any swimsuits? Oh my god, girl. Oh god. Unfortunately, yeah. You would think that would actually be a man flashing, but a woman flashing herself to people? Oh, okay. See, that sounds like something that would happen, like... Oh, uh, give me a state. Oh, I know. I know just the state, because I've been to the state. My parents are from this state, and this is to bring that that happens when people have a lot of drugs in their system. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Or just Pennsylvania, more really more Philadelphia. Maybe New York, possibly. I don't know. I mean, when I went to New York, there was a guy who just was running around naked, and I didn't understand why he did it. I was just like, okay, that's the thing. <laughs> But like she hasn't worn a swimsuit since she was a kid, like oh my god. That's so weird. None of all. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like the other one. That one's cute, too. No! You have to be that confident in yourself just to wear strings. Because you're barely confident in <laughs>
Oh God, is it going to be her swimsuit? Probably in your room. Oh my God, you idiot. Right, let's see. Oh. Mm hmm And you look comfortable in it, too. Huh. So you want her to get a two-piece? That one's cute. She looks mature. Like she's like in her young, early 20s. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I mean, you can't wait till next week. Knowing her, yes. Damn. <laughs> Come on, Come on. Come on. <laughs> no, he he's here, right there. Do not look. <laughs> oh. Yeah, taking her to the pool. <laughs> She's not 
not even named. It's really half naked. I mean, with her wearing white and yellow, she's just so pure and innocent. Oh. It wasn't really like the typical <laughs> pull episode. It was a good episode, though. I mean, if I did compare it between this week's episode of this and last week's episode of freaking Itori Boshi, I mean, they're both even because, like, I mean, one has fan service and the other one doesn't because, you know, it's just three, not three, four middle school girls just going to the pool and having fun. I mean, it would have been nice to see them have fun in this episode and just splash each other in the water like you typically do in anime, but this was just like, trying to find the perfect swimsuit. And Nanako just looks so cute and innocent. I mean, come on. She, she's a shy baby. So I'm thinking like, okay, she was either gonna get, not the first one with the dress, I thought she immediately was gonna get that second one. The blue one, because I really thought that was pretty on her. And she looked mature. But I think if she would have walked out in that, yeah, a lot of guys would have been staring a lot more than when she was just wearing the white one. I mean, the white and yellow one made her seem a little angelic in a way. In a way, like a cute little baby angel. Like, she's just so precious and pure, and you gotta protect her from all the freaking perverts so that they don't loot her up and shit. She's just so cute. You just have to love her. But it's like an angel color. She's just like, no, oh my god. <laughs> what made me panic? She's <laughs> just so freaking cute. And then Koto <laughs> in Angie's room, just like waiting for him. Reminds me of this one reality TV show I watched where this girl got married. No, it was, no, it was the night before she got married. And, um, her friend, <laughs> one of her really close girlfriends, was in her room, but she was all like, I was waiting for you. But like, really? <laughs> and that's what it was too, like, but like, how the fact is he comes home and his dad is like, oh, hey, you know, Koto is here. She wants to show you something. She's in her, your room. Out of all the places, you better <laughs> Oh my god. But I mean, you know, he's a he's a boy slash man. He's a man boy until he gets out of high school. <laughs> uh, poor AG. A bit of a sweet. I mean, I wish that we got to see a little bit more in this. Like, I mean, it, it's supposed to be a little fan servicey slash um <clears throat> fun moments, but, I mean, I mean in, in its own special way, it was just cute. Like, my god, it was just too fucking adorable. Like, ah, I just wish we had more. And, I mean, like, I even, I've said it once and I'll say it again, 12 minutes is not, is not really enough time. I'm thinking, like, I think the first time when I watched the episode, I thought it was gonna be, like, 15 minutes, or at least 16, 17, maybe? Or a full 20-something episode series, and... 20 something minutes, not 20 something episode. But uh, I'm okay, I'm still satisfied with 12, but it just sometimes it just with some episodes, I'll say this and then a couple of other episodes. I think the episode when Nanako and AG went to um, the theme park. It just like, you know, you're like, I want more, I want to see them do other things together. But no, no. 
Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of Send Me a Girl. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Friend match with squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 9. Bye, guys.